David Cameron will spell out his vision of Britain's future in Europe this Friday. After months of speculation, Downing Street announced today that he'll make the most important foreign policy speech of his premiership in the Netherlands. Mr Cameron is expected to set out how he plans to renegotiate Britain's relationship with the EU and ask for the British people to give their verdict on that in a referendum after the next general election in 2015. Our political editor Gary Gibbon has this. Finally, the Prime Minister is stepping onto the European stage to make the speech long promised. In the Netherlands on Friday, David Cameron will spell out how, if he wins the next election, he wants a renegotiation to get powers back from Europe to be followed by a referendum. Are we in or out? The beating heart of Britain, as it were, is we know we need to be in Europe because we're a trading nation, these are our neighbours, these are friendly countries we should be cooperating and working with, but we're not happy with every aspect of the relationship at the moment. There's too much interference, too much uh, bossiness from Brussels, and we need to deal with that, make sure that powers can flow backwards as well as uh, the other direction. And I think people want, they want that fixed and they want to have more of a say. And we shouldn't be frightened of involving the British people in a proper debate about Europe. And that's what I'm doing. David Cameron said in one interview Britain could survive outside the EU. He wanted to stay in. Some in his party doubt Europe will give him back significant powers and he'll struggle to get a deal he can sell to the British voters. Well, I wish him well, but having visited four European capitals very recently with the Foreign Affairs Committee, that's not the message I'm picking up on the continent. If anything, the direction of travel is the other way. They want closer political and economic union in order to make the single currency work. It's got to be give or take agreed, but I, I see nothing but a difficult road ahead for the Prime Minister. David Cameron talked today of the Dutch and the Germans being amongst those who are like-minded on some EU policies, and the Dutch have called for some powers to be returned. But diplomats from across the European Union today attacked the tactics of one country effectively threatening to leave unless it got its way. Germany's Chancellor Merkel warned two months ago that Britain risked sliding out of Europe. A, a world of uh, 7 billion, and if you're alone in that world, I don't think that's good for the UK. And so I'll do everything to keep the UK in the European Union. Last month, France's President Hollande said any request for powers to be repatriated to Britain would get a big no from Europe. So this discussion could take place, but Europe is not... A Europe in which you could uh, take back some competencies. David Cameron's team insists that negotiations are a poker game and Europe's leaders would trade powers if the Tories won the general election in 2015. Very interesting, that line you hear there from Angela Merkel from a couple of months ago saying, I'll do anything to keep Britain in. I talked to German diplomatic sources uh, today and they're saying, well, David Cameron seems to hear that and, and think that means exactly, literally, uh, what it says. And it doesn't, they say. There is no way, they say, that Germany will go along with the sort of repatriation of powers, one country getting its own way, threatening to leave, all the rest of it, that David Cameron is potentially looking for if he gets an outright majority after the next general election. Well, is there any way, therefore, that Europe will play ball? I mean, there are any other people who perhaps want to join the fray? Well, David Cameron still thinks, and you talk to people around him, that the game will change. If he came in with a majority, uh, an endorsement, a mandate, to do exactly what he's going to spell out on Friday he wants to do, that would change the game. The game of poker would start. But you talk to people who are uh, countries, uh, diplomats from countries that he thinks are sympathetic to him, and they say again and again, it's not how we do things in Europe. If uh, the whole of Europe, they say, were to operate on this basis, one country coming along, threatening to leave if it doesn't get its way, that would lead to, as one German diplomatic source said to me today, nightmare and paralysis. Uh, but as I said, David Cameron reads it differently, convinced the game will change if he were to get a mandate for this policy. Gary Gibbon at Westminster.